before. So I kind of joined the two uh, sports together, the, the cycling, being on a bike, but also like the in intensity and the sprint aspect of hockey. What was your thought process like last year when you were training for the games in Tokyo, only to have the competition postponed by a year? Most people uh, would think that I would have been uh, depressed or something, but the truth of it is I love training. And as soon as we heard that we would be able to still be training in the, in the Velodrome over here in the, at the Madame Centre in Milton, Ontario, I kept positive. I took the chance that I had in front of me of, of, of being able to only train and to uh, better myself as an athlete. There's a chance you might go 18 months without competing in an actual race. So how do you stay focused on your training when there's so much uncertainty? That's where I'm lucky because I love pushing myself in training and I'm able to really switch my mindset just like in racing and training. I put a lot of stress and a lot of pressure on myself to make sure to, to continue progressing. So right now I'm on track to, to go and do uh, the best performance of my life. Can you give me an idea of what a typical training day looks like for you right now during the pandemic? Three hours in the gym. Then I'll have a little break uh, for lunch and I go back on the track for another three hour session on the track doing some sprints. You gotta love what you do, you gotta love training and, and I do. You mentioned earlier that you're trying to create competition level environments during your training sessions. So do you think you've been able to maintain a level of fitness or a level of skill equivalent to what you would normally have in a typical training environment? I've been able to exceed uh, any performance of, of, of the past uh, because we're not competing. There's no race in front of you for six, seven, eight months. You can really dig deep and then that's where the improvement comes really is, is when you really uh, target your, your body hard and you, you adapt and become a, a better athlete. But how do you dig deep? Because if, if that was me, if I put myself in your shoes, not knowing when I'm going to compete next, that would be tough to bring it 100% in the gym every day. First of all is self-motivation. So you, you, you need to you know, have specific goals and I know where I need to be. So that, that, there's that pressure. But second point too is in the lockdown, in COVID, there's nothing to do. So there's... There's nothing to do else than training. So why not just really dive in and train all day, every day, and uh, try to try to better uh, yourself as an athlete? Well, I have to say, you're making me feel bad that I haven't wor been working out more during the pandemic. Because you're right. What, what else do you have to do? But I got to be uh, got to be hitting the gym a little bit more than I am. Thanks for your time today, and fingers crossed we get to see you compete in Tokyo this summer. Finger crossed.